Okay, hello everybody, um, I know this is kind of a surprise stream, but Record Store Day Black Friday 2023 just got announced, like, today, and I have been holding in all the excitement of not looking at it. I've been like, oh, what's gonna come up, what's not gonna come up, and I've been just so excited, but I was like, I'm gonna do a surprise stream tonight so I can upload it on YouTube tomorrow morning. I wasn't gonna do a YouTube stream, but I'm like, nah, because I don't feel like dealing with that so I can just quickly come up with a hair pretty much so we're just gonna go through the whole entire list this might be like an hour or two whatever don't worry it'll be fun and if you don't want to stay out to watch it this will be the video for YouTube tomorrow like I'm just gonna do that to make it a bit easier so first off it's just gonna be like the quick view images instead of anything crazy um, we're just gonna get right into this. So first off, we have, it looks like 13th floor elevators, Bull of the Woods, hold on. I'm gonna just, we'll just drop it down a percentage just to help it out. Actually, we know it, it was good at 20%. What am I doing? My brain's all over the place. So 13th floor elevator is Bull of the Woods and it will be 3,500 copies. Let's see how they're gonna come up. I'm not gonna cut it off too much, am I? Let's just move me down here. I won't be in the way here, right? Yes, I will. <laughs> I'll figure it out. Just be able to just do that, and then, um, yep, that'll be good enough for me. So first up, 13th floor elevator, Bull of the Woods. Um, if you don't know the uh, 13th floor, they're like a big psychedelic group from the 60s. And you can see that third and final studio album, released in 1969, been out of print and unavailable on vinyl. Now let's go to Discogs quick. I want to see how expensive it is. Because I'm curious to see how expensive it is. I'm not, um, I'm not logged in on my main PC. Let's see. They have four albums. That's an archive recording. And let's see, let's see what a f the latest pressing of it is. Uh, on vinyl, let's see. 2011. It's been out of that long. Let's see how much an original LP from 69 costs. Whoa, right here. That is a ton. No, I didn't want to do that. So we're just going to keep that up. Because I'm curious. Interesting. So this is... Does it say it's going to be on any sort of... It says... There we go. So it's gonna include the, the OB side strip. That's what I'm gonna call it. It's easier than OBI. Original album artwork, printed inner sleeve, original record labels, and specialty colored vinyl. Doesn't say what color. And knows that the um, tracks right there. Now it's weird as it doesn't specify what. Oh my god, I can hit it with the arrows. Amazing. No, I don't gotta keep clicking in and out. Okay. So no specific on. Oh, there it is. It's on white vinyl. So, there we go. It's going to be on a white vinyl. It's on the OB strip. That, I don't know how I feel about that, but looks interesting. I'm going to give it benefit of the doubt. I might pick it up. Next is All Time Low, Alive at Wembley. It's going to be 5,000 made by Fuel by Ramen. On Tangerine and Lemon Opaque Galaxy Vinyl. Okay. Do I know any of these songs? Let's see. No, I do not. So if you like All Time Low, here you go. What? Oh. Anvil Cat? On Studio 4? What? Okay, there we go. That's 2021. That's why I haven't heard of it. Uh, 12 inch. It's on label AWOL. 3500. Record Store Day first. 
2021 British British indie band Lovejoy, made up of um, Wilbur, Ash, Mark, and Joe, already count more than 700 million streams. Uh, let's see. Their debut EP, Are You All Right? Debuted at number 12 in the UK. And the band recorded a version of it acoustically under their alter ego, Anvil Cat. Record Store Day Black Friday release. Acoustic version of the debut EP with an etching design on side B. And here, here is the whole entire look. If I like it, I might pick it up. That's actually a really cool looking cover. Like, that's pretty awesome. Don't know about the color of it yet, probably just standard black. We have the Chet Baker Trio, Chet's Choice. Okay. 2,300 copies, double LP. Let's see. Recorded release in the Netherlands. Okay. By Gary Teekins, first crisscross label in 85. Uh, let's see. It won't let me use the, um... What the hell? Hold up, the errors are going crazy on me. Double LP. I gotta look up Chet Baker's stuff because apparently it's really good. I did not know that. So I might I might grab this. I don't know if it's not too expensive. I think the last one, I think it was like Chet Baker's self-titled album or whatever. It was like 40 bucks or something. I was like, ooh. Expand edition, all seven tracks from the original album plus three songs that appeared first time on vinyl. Five previously unreleased alternate takes. Double LP. 180 gram vinyl. No sort of knowing of colored vinyl, but cool. There's the track listing. I'm guessing from here down is the is the other ones. There we go. Beach Boys Christmas album. 7,000 at the record store day first. Uh, figure seven holiday sing classics and five original tracks. Single Lil Saint Nick, Man with All the Toys, a green vinyl for Record Store Day. So what is it? Um, like a lot of people are gonna be after this, I think. Especially one guy on TikTok, Vinyl Benji. He apparently loves the Beach Boys. So here you go, bud. This might be one for you. Uh, looks cool. I don't know. Oh, that is beautiful. I love that green. Okay, then we have Beast Coast Escape from New York. Uh, two thousand copies, double LP. It's a collective, um... Escape from New York, come across a collection of high-level cyphers from Joey Badass, Nick Caution, Kirk Knight, CJ Fly, Flatbush Zombies, and more, okay. So it's gonna be, it's a rap album, which... Yeah, I could see that, it... I thought it was psychedelic at first, but it's rap, cool. Translucent orange color, and it has a Beast Coast sticker. There you go. The Beat Nuts. Intoxicated demos, 1,500 copies, a uh, single LP. American Hip Hop Trio, debut EP by by them. Released in 93 by Relativity Records, produced exclusively by Beat Nuts. The project consisted of two singles, Reign of Tech and No Equal. In addition to 11 cuts and five skits, spanning the total 25 minutes, okay. Um... Any sort of interesting. It's the 30th anniversary. The Toxic Did I read demos? Intoxicated Demons. My bad. Intoxicated Demons about to beat nuts. Now we have Jeff Beck Tribute. 12 inch record. This looks like it's going to be a ton of copies. Okay, it honors him. And it's going to be just... It looks like a lot of just... What? I don't like when they do this. Put it on a 7 inch. Or 10 inch. Like, I hate when they do this. This isn't anything against Jeff Beck because he's amazing. But, like, I hate when they're like, oh, it's a 12 inch vinyl. And it's like two or three songs and you're paying 20 bucks plus. Put it on a 10 inch or a 7 inch. Make it 10 to 15. Make people happier. It's just. Like, that's why I didn't pick up the Mars Volta one, the Francis the Mute thing or whatever it was. Because it's on a 12 inch vinyl, it's 22 bucks for like two songs. But still cool if you want to pick it up, it's just some standard black. I do like how it has the um, the original, like it's like it's the original Rhino Records label. It's Atco label, that's what it is. 
Andrew Scott Bell, Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey, Motion Picture Score. 1600 and its uh, first release. First pressing for the score of the 2023 British Slasher film. I still have yet to see it, but I want to see it so bad. Let's see. Um... Any sort of... Oh, there we go. Blood and Honey, Red and Yellow, Split Colored, 150 Gram Vinyl. That looks cool. If I liked the movie, and I know it wasn't... It was kind of weird, but I still want to see it so bad. We have, um... How do you say that name? I'm going to say Dirk Bentley. Ponderidge 10th Anniversary, 3,500 copies. This one, there it is for you. And it is going to be... Okay, but that's five tracks written by Dirk's film come from various sources. This is Bob Dylan, Buddy, and Julie Miller. Okay. And it's going to be on orange. There is the list. There is the track listing for you, and it looks beautiful. Uh, Black Angels, Levitation Session, 2,000 copies, double LP, and DVD. That is a first. I don't think I've seen the DVD. Never heard of them. The Black Angels. It says something... What is it? Never released physically, only streams for one weekend. It's double LP, DVD, Psych Rock. Okay. I might watch... I might grab it. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. That is like a beautiful record. Uh, Blood, Sweat, and Tears. What happened to... What the hell happened to Blood, Sweat, and Tears? The original soundtrack. Uh, 1,600 copies, double LP, music from the documentary, um, first time on vinyl, recorded in Yugoslavia, Romania, and Poland. There we go. Interesting, if you like them. Oh, actually, did that have any sort of, nope. Blue Coop, When Legends Collide, autographed edition, DVD and CD version of this, 600 copies, Regional focus of this might be something interesting. Anything. That's cool. So, that's every single copy is signed. Uh, neat. Not a fan of them, but cool. Um, yes, and it's called Blast Justice for Clarity 2. No info on that. Is there. Let me do a double check. Yeah. Nothing. Uh, the Bottle Rocket, 30th Anniversary, Real Gone Music, 1850, for that. Bottle Rockets, uh, Uncle Tupelo, Old Country Movement, Full Cooperation of Bottle Rockets, Real Gone Music, Reissuing the Early Records, starting with the classic self-titled debut. Uh, any sort of special vinyl color. Mastered for vinyl and with lacquer... Lacquer's cut by original Bottle Rocket Master Engineering, Scott Hall. So there you go if you like the Bottle Rockets. We have Marion Brown and Leo Smith. Creative, improv creative Improvisation Ensemble. 1,400 copies there. Uh, two avant-garde giants. There we go. This album has not been pressed on vinyl since 1975. And this one is going to be, it says, the release marks the last edition of Org's Music Freedom Record Reissue Series, mastered for vinyl by Dave Gardner and Preston Palace Group on transparent red audio file grade vinyl. So there you go. If you like this kind of music. Nice. Guessing that's all it's going to be. Interesting. Then we have the Dave, the Dave Brubeck Quartet, live from Northwest, 1959, 3,500 copies the first. There you go. It looks like it's going to be like jazz big band stuff, I'm guessing. Yep, popular jazz group. Any sort of special vinyl color? Nope. But there you go. Uh, Buck Cherry. I haven't heard that name in a while. Whoa. So it's the Time Bomb. 2,000 copies. Last album with the original lineup plus guitarist Yogi Lonic. I'm gonna, I hope I'm saying that right. Okay. I'm just gonna keep.
keep looking. Metallic brown with black swirl. Okay. Interesting. Then we have Carter Burwell, Blood Simple, Motion Picture Soundtrack, 1,500 copies. This is going to be on Blood Red Vinyl. There you go. And here's the track listing for you. That looks nice. Actually, did Buck Cherry have the record in there? Nope. We have Sibo Gas Chamber, 750 copies. That's interesting. Hail from Sacramento, OG pioneer of the West Coast hip hop in the early 90s. Gas Chamber released in 93, celebrates the 30th, 30th anniversary. Uh, special color pressing and packaging. There's uh, that. I'll listen to that. Maybe I'll pick it up. Then we have uh, Terry Caller, Speak Your Peace. 1,000 copies first. Terry Collier's um, ninth studio album, 180 gram vinyl. There's the track listing. Oh, whoa. That is completely different from that. Folk infused jazz, but it's the modern twist. There you go. So, one, two, three, four, five, six tracks. That does look nice. I do like that mint green looking stuff. We have Matt Cameron. Uh, Gory Scorch Cretans. Why does that sound familiar? As 25 copies for that. Massive fans is the first song to play live in Seattle 85. Let's see. It's the 5 track. 12 inch. Okay. Not too bad. Um. Don't see anything about any sort of colors, so okay. This is one I'm surprisingly excited for. Captain Beefheart and the Magic Band, Shiny Beast, Bat Chain Puller, 45th Anniversary Deluxe, 2 LP, 4,000 made. Uh, let's see. I wish I would have gotten the one from last year, the, um, the Basement Show or whatever. It is the, the original album recut from the original Master Tapes that Bernie... Grunman Master and plus an additional LP with 12 previously unreleased demos, rough mixes, and alternate versions of Shiny Beast Era featuring Tropical Hot Dog Night, Floppy, Boot Stomp, Bat Chain Puller, and more. There we go. I like it that it, that, it, that that one's on black vinyl. Enough with the Eric Carr. This was earlier this year. It's an okay album, but it was expensive. It was like $38 or some shit. And are you kidding me? A picture disc? Why do we need a picture disc? No one... No one likes picture discs, really. I have a few because I was once, like, a, a novice record... Or rookie record collector, whatever you want to call it. Like, I was new to it. You pick up picture discs. I learned. I only pick up, like, the 7 inches if they're under $10 now. Or, like, if it's, like, a weird punk record or whatever. Like, is it still up here? Yeah. It is. In your flat. This is the only picture disc I've picked up in over two years. Because for four dollars, how can I not? That is it's super cool for what it is. But like, so many good albums. Like it was um, I think it was uh, Emerson, Lake, and Palmer, or whatever. I think it was Brain Salad Surgery earlier this year, or whatever. I wanted to get it so bad, but it's picture disc, so no way in hell. This one is 4,000 copies, of course. Y'all remember it. It's, and it's not even... It's, a, it's an okay album. But... What's really gonna make me mad? Yep. They're making it a CD. Rockology. Rockology. The p CD picture disc edition. What the hell does that mean? The same damn CD. Vinyl look like compact disc features in front orange... Back orange CD with LP groove design and record label print. It's the same thing. So that that's that's annoying. You have Coheed and Cambria live at Starlin Ballroom, 4,900 copies, double LP. First time on vinyl, uh, solar flare color. Okay, no info on anything there, which is weird. Collective Soul live at the print shop. No amount of copies, so I'm guessing it's 
gonna be released there officially. 11 song set. Uh, hot pink vinyl, there you go. Let's see how many copies, no. The color field, the very best of, 700. And I'm just like, I'm gonna keep looking. Tran trans blue vinyl, looks interesting. Cypress Hill, Black Sunday remixes. Okay. That could be something. That's 3,100 copies. Uh, let's see. Is it going to be on any color? 12-inch black vinyl. Come on. Do a color vinyl. Come on. Then for any um, Zarface, I think this is MF Doom, right? Or like something close to it well either way Zarface Zartificial Intelligence Stole the Ball Edition 5,000 copies it's gonna be on like this orange looking basketball vinyl I'm guessing because of how it's looking Zarface Intelligence uh, trying to see Here's the uh, track listing for it. There you go. De La Soul, three feet high and rising. This is interesting. Oh, this is even weirder. Look at that. Seven inch vinyl box set. That might be something a lot of people go after. I'm not a big fan of it out al the album, but I'm not saying it's bad. It's not my thing. It's like 80s, yeah, 80s hip hop. I'm not a big fan of it, like myself. So let's see, how are they going to be colored? Race 1989. The box set features De La Soul 3 feet high and rising, includes 12 7 inch custom singles, pressed on splatter vinyl, okay. Housed in custom sleeves, housed in a box that has a 7 inch pinup, and double sided 7 inch slip mat. Available for the first time, record store day, Black Friday. So there you go. I'm guessing that's what it's gonna look like. Just see. I'm like genuinely interested to see what's gonna come up. So I'm guessing there's different extras somewhere in there. But hey, if you're a De La Soul fan, pick it up. Uh, Death, Individual Thought Patterns, 2023 Master, 2,500 copies. Uh, heavy metal stuff if you don't know who they are. Previously under least complete album remaster. Okay. The original mix of Individual Thought Patterns. Uh, white inside of Black Ice with Splatter Vinyl. Bo Diddley, I'm a Man, Chess Masters from 55 to 58. 900 copies of the 4 LP set. Any sort of, okay. Complete studio recordings, exclusive variant silver flake vinyl. Um, 4 printed inner sleeves, wrapped craft paper slipcase with 4 wrapped inner jackets. Any, uh, I thought there were going to be a, um, a picture. Digital Underground, The Body Hat Syndrome's 30th Anniversary, 2,500 copies. Double LP on Tommy Boy Records. Okay, let's see. Any special vinyl? It has only been released as a special Italian vinyl version. Okay, I thought it said it was being pressed on Italian vinyl. I'm like, what? But, cool. Doesn't look like there's going to be a color variant, but here we go. Cool. Ah, look, it's the, the monkey guy, Mickey Dolan's. Put, Mickey Dolan's puts you to sleep. That, okay. 1,500 copies. There's another one that um, Vinyl Benji guy is going to be all over because he is a super fan of the monkeys. 91, Mickey Dolan's and the monkeys. We're going to put you to sleep. Soft Rock Classics for his children. The meal stunning blue vinyl. 
First time vinyl release, there you go. Eric Dolphy, Iron Man, 2200 copies. Um, let's see. Iron Man, Man, aka the Eric Dolphy record. Released in 68 originally. Specialty color vinyl, printed inner sleeve, original album artwork. Okay. This is one I already saw because my buddy on Instagram, Mr. Jimmy Vinyl, posted this and was like, oh boy. And I was like, no, I didn't want spoilers. So this is live in Bakersfield, 7,500 copies on the double LP. Uh, one of the most unique shows from the doors. During the tumultuous 1970 when Jim Morrison was on trial on trumped up charges in Miami. Uh, let's see, uh, anything interesting? You are gonna see the actual color of it. It's interesting, because I don't think it said it in here. First official release of the show, including Someday Soon, which is only from live. Side A. I don't like this, like... What's this one? Uh... Weird. It was like a piece of dust or whatever. I was about to say, like, why is there, like, only two songs? And then I'm like, oh, 12 minutes. Roadhouse Blues, Medley, Alabama Song, Whiskey Bar, uh, Backdoor Man, 5 to 1. Okay. And then we have the Medley, Universal Mind, Afro Blue, and When the Music's Over. Then Love Me Two Times, and Medley, Mystery Train, Away in India, and Crossroads. Then Ship of Fools, and The End, which is a great a song. And it looks like it's like this beautiful, vibrant orange vinyl. Might be transparent or translucent. And it has a CD release. 12500 for that. 7500 for that. There's a 2X CD. Yeah, it looks like it comes with a little book. Cool. The Dr. Dre Chronic 30 Year Anniversary. This is a CD. And, oh, it's a long box. That is interesting. I have never seen that many long boxes. Can, do I have one I can grab quick to show people? Maybe. Where'd it go? Nope, I don't have one close. But I'm grabbing one now to hell with it. I'm here, I got time. Oh, here's, here's not a long box per se, but you get the idea. The Great Malenko 20th Anniversary. It's a technically a long box, kind of. But I want to get my long box. My favorite piece I picked up for a twisted, unlikely prescription. There it is. And here's my CD. Actually, just a CD next to it as reference. It's huge. And this one comes with the album and stickers. Still sealed like all my other newer CDs are because, yeah. Ah, it's not going back up there. What the hell? I'll fix it after the stream. But that I just got so sidetracked. So 4,000 copies. Whew. What's it going to come with? Collectible rolling papers. Okay. That's cool. I like that. Never listen... Never listen to this album. I should. Uh, Dungeon 4, 1500 copies, double LP. Dungeon's fifth album, 4. Okay. Ultra Limited Worldwide run of 3500 copies. Aquamarine vinyl. There you go. Justin Towns Earl, live at Grimey's. 2500 copies, and... i only been going for a half hour, damn. I'm in the J's, I believe, or the D's, or the E's, whatever. Baby Blue 12-inch vinyl. Here it is. Justin Town Daryl again. Yuma. 12-inch vinyl. Bloodshot. 3,500 copies. Gold vinyl. 180 gram. New package feature liner notes by. Um, Fred Collaborator and Art Director, full lyrics, print previously on photos, okay. So yeah, it's a whole batch. 
Electric Blood Transfusion, double LP. It is third man records, 450 copies, holy hell. 1978 to 19, well, 2013, now I want to get it. Okay, so... Transparent, black with blood drops. What does that mean? 150 gram vinyl. That's what it's gonna look like. The English beat, I just can't stop it expanded, double LP, 5,000. Classic album, uh, no real look. Oh, the, it's either white or clear. I'm gonna go with clear and I'm like, eh. Not a fan of clear. Enon Belivo, 1050. Um, long ago, beginning of the millennium, the world begot Enon. Never heard of him. Probably why. Includes full album, plus two bonus download tracks. And you gotta print 1999 Sooth EQ, slash to whom it may concern 7 inch. Okay. Interesting. Here we have Bill Evans. Tales live in Copenhagen 64, 3650 copies. Never before released recording. That's cool if you like this kind of music. And this kind of music is what? I don't know. It's probably like jazz, piano stuff, obviously. 180 gram vinyl. Okay. Gil Evans and 10. Mono edition. There you go. If you like mono, there you go. Um, weird, I look weird. 4,200 copies. Um, mono edition of the classic 57 album from Prestige. Remastered. It's on 180 gram vinyl. They can press it on colored mono, can't they? Weird. Faces. Had me a real good time with Faces. In session live, BBC 1971 to 73. 5,000 copies. I might pick this up. Double LP. Previous unreleased performance by John Peel's Sunday concert. Uh, okay. Let's see. Oh, that's beautiful. I love that blue. Okay, um... Kelly Finnegan. A joyful 40... Sound 45 box set. Oh, boy. This is interesting. Oh, it looks like it looks like a blanket. That's cool. Oh, hello. Didn't notice that I've been staring at the screen. Uh, this is a seven-inch vinyl box set, 500 copies on coal mine. Uh, let's see. First Christmas record winner 2020. Okay, so it's a newer one. And honor Kelly's roots as a long-time 45 collector. Third to release a limited edition, one-time pressing box set. That is cool. Always been a champion of musical, physical music and has sold over 30,000 units throughout his career. 500 copies, any sort of color vinyl. So here is the, um, this is what the tracks will be. And, um, excuse me. So it does not look like it's going to be on colored vinyl, but I don't know. If I like it, I might pick it up. If I can find it. Fisher and... Oh, fucking hell. Fisher and Attig. Take off... Take it off. Bucket at picture disc. Oh, God. Picture disc, no. But it is a 10-inch, so I'll give them that. They're reducing the amount that you're going to have to pay for it. <laughs> 500 copies of the regional run. Limited. Biggest single since losing it. Debuted as Chris Lake at Coachella's main stage. 10-inch vinyl. Ultra rare red bucket hat. What? Wait, wait a minute. What? Now that's even confusing. More. Oh, the... That is so cool. The bucket hat is the picture disc. The shaped picture disc. That is awesome. Uh, now we have the Flaming Lips, Yoshimi Battles, the Pink Roots. Live Paradise Land, Boston, October 22nd, 02. 4,500 copies, LP. 
Three months after the release of the classic album. There we go. 40 minutes set that includes Do You Realize Fight Test and cover of Pink Floyd Lucifer Sam. There we go. Nice one that often gets forgotten, it seems. Limited edition pink vinyl. And that looks like a beautiful copy. Uh, flesh tones. Stock and stuff for 15th anniversary, 850. Garage Rock Gods. Let's see. Album remastered. Green vinyl. There we go. No color of it yet, but I'm guessing it's going to be like that green up there. What is that? That looks weird. I love it. Fraternity, second chance. 800, double LP. First time on vinyl ever. This collection of rare recordings by Australian rock legends. Fraternity, unearthed from the archive of the original band member, Hamish Henry. Curated by author and co-author Victor Marshall while performing research for his book on the band Fraternity, Pub Rock Pioneers. Original artwork by renowned Australian artist, I'm going to hope it's saying it right, Vitus Serilus. Because legendary ACDC frontman Bon Scott on lead vocals. Okay. Whoa. They've worked with Fraternity plus Scott on the radar of George Young, the ACDC co-producer. The older brother Angus Malcolm eventually leading Scott to replace then frontman Dave Evans. Doesn't look like there's going to be a colored vinyl, right? Uh, no. Oh, I gotta hear this. This might be interesting to pick up. Jerry Garcia. Oh, look. More Grateful Dead stuff. Jerry Garcia. It's like, they put out this... I, I know it's a hot take, whatever. Grateful Dead. I love the album American... I think it's called American Beauty. That's a good album. I'm not gonna complain about that. I am gonna complain about them putting out a live album for Grateful Dead every damn record store day. It being a 6 LP box set over $100 and people are still chewing it up. Can't hear, like, you hear the same songs over and over again. God damn. So what is an acoustic jazz album? Okay, that's a bit different. Let's see what kind of vinyl. Finally coming to vinyl, 25th anniversary. Okay. There's the track listing. Oh god, more Jerry Garcia. This is what I mean. Why do we need two Jerry Garcias? Pure Jerry, Marin, Marin Veterans Memorial Auditorium, San Rafael, California, February 86. 7,500 copies, the double LP, first time on vinyl, no, okay, gold. This is going to be like $60, probably. Goo Goo Doll, self-titled, 3,200 copies, the regular LP. Oh, and it has the OB strip, and it's going to be on like a red splatter, it looks like. Goo Goo Dolls also known as first release. Studio album released in 87 before the Power Pop hits. Pure Raw Punk album. Has been out of print and unavailable on vinyl. And it's red and clear. That's interesting. Now we have Goody Mob Soul Food. I've heard of this album. Uh, 2000 copies, double LP. 1995 release. A unique color vinyl run for Breakfast Today Black Friday. There's Andre 3000, Big Boy, Cool Breeze, and Witch Doctor. There we go. Dexter Gordon and Slide Hampton and Dan Copenhagen, a thousand copies. Let's see, this is going to be just a jazz album. They've been focusing a lot more on jazz, piano, and big band stuff, which I thought, and like more audiophile based stuff, which is very weird and very different from a lot of other Record Store Day stuff from what I've noticed. In the past, like, year and a half or whatever, they've been kind of creeping it in there, which is cool. I'm not going to complain about it because it brings more people out. It means I got to get there earlier. <laughs> Big, warm, round tone, sophisticated phrasing and hip quotes. What? Oh, I'm reading the top of it again. 1969 recording. There's the... That's why I'm like, there are only six tracks, but then I'm like, okay, it's probably ten minute tracks or some crap like that. Then we have Govt Mule, Time of the Signs EP. Is that a play on Sign of the Times by Prince or whatever? 
3,000 copies, 12 inch. Originally released as a deluxe CD of the 2023 album Peace. Like a River, Time It Assigns EP is now available for the first time. 180 gram vinyl with a collectible poster. There we go. At record store, that's a part of 20. Okay. I like that. Oh, look, Grateful Dead. At least that's one, an older one. Cool. This is what I mean. Who the hell is get This is pretty much everyone's record store day fund is to get this 5 LP set. <laughs> uh, 7,500 copies. Fourth under the film where West run that produced the bulk of live slash dead. Exceptional examples going back 54 years. Let's see, any sort of special color? No, but it looks like... Oh my god. That's what I'm like, what? Okay, so side A is one song. Then we have side B as two. Side C has one, side C has, side D has two. But why? Just, I hate that. Like, come on, you could have, you could have easily popped that on there. Records hold almost 25 minutes of music on each side. So, see, they did it. Oh, this is, that's the total time, okay. So one, one song there. Two songs, G, H, I, and it looks like J has no audio and it's an etching. Chicago Hamilton, the master 50th anniversary, 2,000 copies, um, purple marble vinyl. Is there going to be a, there, there's, a there's a picture of it. <laughs> So, cool. Gil Scott, Hernan, and Brian Jackson. Winter in America. <coughs> uh, 3,000 copies. Let's see. Winter in America released in 1974. Another jazz album. The Gay Fold album. Yeah, it was one pocket original album artwork. Predator in a sleeve. Original record labels. And specialty color vinyl. With an inside out black white effect in the French import edition. Neat. This is a CD of it with 500 copies. Gary Hoey, Hark, the Ho Ho Hoey Hits. 1,000 copies, the normal LP. Guitar Virtuoso, and there's a first time on vinyl, red vinyl. For this one, 13 tracks. They're going a lot heavier with the Christmas releases, damn. Uh, weird. Hey, look, our, I think it's our first 7 inch. Woo! No 12 inches here because they were smart. 850 copies, 7 inch vinyl. Two more unreleased songs from the Price of Progression sessions. Side A is The Death of Punchline, which is a fan favorite. And B is Radar and Lita. Piece will be different due to the processing of random colors. Okay. Interesting. I like it. John Lee Hooker, live at the cafe, Al Gogo. Or Al Gogo, whatever the hell. 2,000 copies. John Lee Hooker. Let's see. 180 gram vinyl. That's what the track listing is. Illenium Fallen Embers Deluxe. 3,000 copies. Double LP. Never heard of this guy. Electronic. That's why I don't listen to a lot of electronic. Double LP. Fallen Ember, the repressed and limited orange translucent vinyl. Cool. NXS, sh Shabu Shaba Rarities. 3,500 copies, LP. Let's see, any sort of interesting color? It looks like it's gonna be a gold. Nice, and that's the track listing. I wrestled the. What? I wrestled the bear once, that's what it is. It's all happening. 500 copies. It's going to be on Pressed on Purple, it looks like. 2009 debut album. I remember hearing about these guys. Ooh, that looks nice. 12x12 12 12 full color insert. And a 12x18 band poster. Nice. David J. Tracks from the Attic. 3LP. 500 copies. Records today first. 
Uh, let's see, what is the color? Wait. Oh, it is a box set, okay. Don't see any color variants, okay. Ahmad Jamal, Emerald City Knights, 66 to 68. Double LP, 2300 copies. Double LP, 180 gram vinyl, so it's not gonna be a color, I believe. Okay. Jesus Lizard Blue. No idea what this is, but I want it. Uh, 2000 copies, it's an LP. After Austin based Scratch Acid disbanded. Uh, Cater Walling vocalist David Yao and bassist David Wum. WM Sims moved to Chicago. They formed Jesus Lizard. Okay, I might listen to this actually. Blue Metallic Blue Vinyl. Joan Jett and the Blackhearts again at two this year. Mindsets, 2900 copies. Latest release, six brand new originals plus live versions of the tracks. Says the reminder the band is all about. The perfect blend of punk rock and roll. Punk and rock and roll, whatever. Kicks off the EP with the band's signature country distortion. Any sort of... Doesn't look like there's any track listing or anything weird. Scarlett Johansson made an album? Weird. Uh, 1750 copies, LP, the title is Anywhere I Lay My Head. Scarlett Johansson's debut album of Tom Waits Classics. Guest appearance by Bowie. Now, do I pick it up because I'm a David Bowie fan? I don't think so. Jonas Brothers, The Family Business, 3,500 copies, double LP. Weird. It compiles the hit singles, clear vinyl. Okay. Could have done a cool color or something. Nora Jones playing along, 20, well, 3,000 copies. LP, uh, Sea Blue Vinyl. And here is the track listing. Ooh, that's a nice one. She's a singer and pianist. It's okay. Noah Cahan, uh, Cape Elizabeth EP, 5,000 copies. Within six days, and without ever thinking anything, included the first five track Cape Elizabeth EP in 2020. Uh, any sort of color variant. Ooh, that's nice. Interesting. Lenny K and Cedar Sparks Holiday Split 7-inch. 850 copies. Is this Spanish? Never heard of that uh, record label before. Oh, I can't translate it. Seminole... Anthology of 60 Garage Rock. Please tell me. Oh, it has a 7 inch, okay. Don't see any color variants, okay, on that one. Rilo Kylie, Under the Black Light, LP 5715. What? Weird. Pressed on translucent black light purple. Ooh. How will this look under black light? King Missile Happy Hour, 1900 copies, 30th anniversary. Spoken word cult classic, okay. Never heard of it. What? Looks cool. Um, Mike James Kirkland, hang on in there. 1200 copies. Oh, it's a cable. Original release in 72. First time pressing 180 gram vinyl. Uh, any sort of color variant? Not looking like it. Kicks Cool Kids. 40th anniversary. 1500 copies. Four decades of kicks. Okay. Uh, any sort of special color? No. That's the track list. The Knack Countdown Live 1980. 2000 copies. Huh. Oh. Very rare 1980 live set by the Power Pop Icons. Uh, let's see. Pressed on pink vinyl. Konami Tukea Club 
Konami Classics. Oh my god, it's a video game one. What? I might have to pick this up because I am a video game nerd. 800 copy, though it's a regional release, but I might get it because my guy's good. <laughs> Whether you're an old school gamer, from the heyday of the 80s. 40, 43 track collection on one LP. Now I'm curious. Limited edition vinyl. Packed. And an LP jacket designed to resemble the original NES game cartridge. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty much what they look like. I was like, do I have a NES cartridge around me that I can use to example that? And I don't. But, they do look like that if you look them up. Oh no! It disconnected for streaming. What? The hell? Oh no. Or we're just gonna keep going on with it. Um, holy hell, what's going on? What the hell? There we go. So sorry for that delay. You did not miss anything. Do not worry about it at all. I don't know what happened. So let's just go through this. I'm curious. Uh, for Gradius, it's beginning of history. Aircraft carrier, free flyer, game over. Russian attack is game start. Uh, stage BGM 1, boss battle 1, and game over. Castlevania Vampire Killer, Double Dribble, Halftime Show, and Game Set. Stinger, Final Stage, Power Up at Contra Jungle. Life Force has Power of Armor, Starfield, Burn to Win, Peace Again, End Theme. Uh, Jackal, Main Title, Game Start, and Middle Start, and Game Over. Blade the Steel, Winner, Select Game at Halftime. Bayou Billy is at Game Start, Background Music 1, and Game Over. Track and Field 2, Game Start, Competition Number 3, and Game Over. Snake's Revenge, Game Start, End of the Jungle, Final Boss, Base Wars Select Mode, Laser Invasion, Select Missile, and Aerial Combat 1, Crisis Force, Strong Body, Drop the Bomb, and Death. Five second clip, oh my god. Monster in My Pocket, Main Title, Monster in My House, Boss Battle, Twist Ending. Am I probably gonna get this? Maybe. It looks cool. <laughs> LA Guns, Live in Boston 89, 1500 copies. Unreleased live album featuring new original lineup. Okay. Amos Lee, Honeysuckle Switches, the best of Lucinda Williams. Uh, 1,500 copies. Amos Lee pays tribute to Lucinda Williams. 11 covers of the Grammy Award winning singers. Honeysuckle Vinyl. Okay. Jerry Lee Lewis. Okay. Live at, at the Palomino Club. 2,000 copies, double LP. This is better material and a poster. A tour poster, nice. There we go. Limp Biscuit, Rock in, Rock on Park. 2001, this, that's a CD, okay. 1,000 copies. There you go. And here's the vinyl version of it, which is on that same kind of look, it's on a yellow and blue. Lincoln Park Lost Demos. This is going to be eaten up like crazy, especially with how people are. 10,000 copies, so you'll have your chance to get it. Lost Demos by Lincoln Park. 14 track compilation of fully realized songs work, and works in progress. Recorded for and during, during the sessions of the Meteor album. Lost Demos was included on CD in the limited edition Meteor 20th Anniversary edition Super Deluxe box set not released on vinyl yet although the title release title includes the word demos first three tracks of songs that were completed during the Meteor recording sessions but not made for the album Lost is released to promote the Anniversary Edition fan favorites like Fighting Myself and More the Victim Brand at the Trifecta the Unearthed Studio Treasures uh, Sea Blue Vinyl Let's see, we're gonna see it. Nice. I did hear the Lost song. That was really good. Even though I'm not a uh, Linkin Park guy. Little Feet, Live at Manchester, Free Trade Hall, 77. Triple LP, 5,300 copies. Uh, 
any sort of special release. Okay, so I like the labels. They look cool. So if you like little feet, there you go. Los Lobos, Kiko, 30th Anniversary Edition. Um, 3,500 copies on a triple vinyl. Uh, any sort of color. Oh, cut the lacquer by David McNair and sequenced over two discs for improved fidelity. Okay. Includes third LP of unreleased demos. There we go. Uh, Mad Lib Before the Verdict with Guilty Simpson. 3,000 copies, double LP. 2010, well, 2010, blah. Mad Lib launched Mad Lib Medicine Show Series. I no look of what the actual color is, but it looks normal. OJ, what? OJ Simpson remix, what? Uh, Post Malone Diamond Collection, 10,000 copies, double LP. Post Malone holds the record for the most diamond certified singles in history. Compilation includes Congratulations, Sunflower, White Iverson, and more. Clear vinyl, they could have done something cool with it, but it looks nice. I will say that. There we go. Oh, it does have Take What You Want on it, which I like. I don't know. Mom was in the Papas, live at the Monterey International Pop Festival 2750. Let's see. Gold vinyl LP. I'm not gonna get a whatever of it. There you go. Huh. Damn. Uh, Amy Man, Dead Eyes, 7 inch vinyl, 1,000 copies. 7 inch vinyl release track Dead Eyes in the B side demo version of Dead Eyes. Song inspired by the Connor Ratliff prom, uh, podcast. Cool. Left McCann, Never a Dull Moment, live from coast to coast, 66 67. Triple LP, 2,500 copies. Never a Dull Moment. And right, let's see, Triple LP, what kind of music is it? Jazz, there you go. Rebastered from the original tape reels. I like when they do that. By Bernie Gunman, Grunman for this record today release. And here it is. Missing, uh, whatever right there. JD McPherson, the warm covers LP. 2250 LP. I covers a song by all them people. Bowie, Iggy Pop. Larry, Art Neville. Naomi Neville, what? Red, white, and blue swirl. Are we gonna get to see it? No. Where's the Bowie one? Let's see if I can find it. I can't find it. Oh, white, light, what heat? Maybe? No, that was the Bowie covered that. I'll figure it out. <laughs> Meat Puppets Forbidden Places. 2,000 copies. Is that you heard of this one before? Okay. 2,500 copies. Comes Boysenberry with Black Swirl Vinyl. Interesting. Charles Mingus Incarnation. 3,000 copies. There's going to be another jazz one for everyone. There's a lot of jazz fans out there. Where are they going to be during Record Store Day? Because I've never seen them. Unreleased recording. That's cool. So it looks like... Missing Persons, live in New York, 81, 1,500 copies. Even before Missing Persons released their first album, they were following outside their native Los Angeles show. And they are building a following, okay. Includes live versions of the most of the songs from their, um, their 1980 debut EP and their 1982 album Spring Session M. Year before the LP entered charts. Clear blue vinyl. Never heard of Missing Persons. Joni Mitchell, Court and Spark Demos. 6,300 copies. Let's see their color. Court and Spark's most commercially successful album. 
LP featured number four her demos and the iconic from the iconic album including Help Me Raised on Robbery. Okay. <sighs> okay, just standard black, that's okay. The monkeys, the monkeys again. Why do we need more of these? Two thousand copies. This is another one vinyl Benji's gonna be all over, man. Like, holy hell. Original monophonic sound, okay, interesting. Massive pack of Joe Regasso from Colgan's record tapes. Multicolor splash vinyl. Don't get to see it yet. Monkeys are okay. I'm not a big fan of them, but that's okay. Wes Montgomery, Wenton Kelly Trio, Maximum Swing, The Unissued, 1965, Half Note Recording, Triple LP, 3,000 copies. Okay, looks like it's going to be jazz, swing music, whatever the hell you want to call it. Limited edition, 3 LP, 180 gram vinyl. Why don't they make them on colored vinyl? I think that would be a bit more cool and be worth the trouble of it. Motley Crue, Too Young to Fall in Love EP, 12 inch, 3500. Orange Black Vinyl reissued, a 3 track, 12 inch EP. This is probably going to be like $25. Uh, John Murphy, Guardian of the Galaxy Holiday Special Soundtrack, 5,000 copies. Uh, color Splatter. I'm not a fan of uh, Guardian of the Galaxy. <sighs> Excuse me. Um, I'm recording this like late at night, so yeah. A morning jacket, happy holiday. LP at ATO Records, 5,000 copies. First time on vinyl. Clear vinyl with white snow patterns. Okay. Ooh, I like that. There we go. Napalm Death from Enslavement to Obliteration. 900 copies for that one. No other info. Nas I Am Autobiography. Double LP, 4,100 copies. Uh, let's see. Autobiography to long sought after bootleg release commercial for the first time. Two unreleased tracks with many other rarities that have been on limited vinyl and 12 inch previously with deluxe packaging. Willie Nelson, Shotgun Willie, 50th anniversary, 5,500 copies, double LP. Groundbreaking 73 album was the second disc of outtakes from the album. Bill first time on vinyl. Okay. I like that old Rhino Atlantic label. It looks so cool. Oh, this is weird. Octa Soul Sounds. El Nino Y is Soul. Hopefully I said that right. That's 2,000 copies. And there's another one. What? We're going to release in 2006. Jazz, Afrobeat, Latin, Funk, and Beyond. Red, Yellow, Green. Okay. Get behind it. Graham Parsons and the Fallen Angels. Uh, the last roundup live at the Bijou Cafe, Philadelphia, March 16th, 73. 7,500 copies, the double LP. Let's see. Any sort of... Oh, man. You do get a poster. You do get a poster. That's cool. Lee Perry and Keith Richards scratched. 12 inch vinyl, 1300 copies. These guitar parts for Heavy Voodoo and Dope Play Companion. Who Dares Dub. Black Friday Vinyl EP, no versions. Oh, it's only three or oh, four tracks. Doesn't look like it's gonna be colored vinyl, but whatever. Oscar Peterson, Con Alma, the Oscar Peterson Trio, live in Lugano, 64, 2,000 copies. Let me guess, is this gonna be another jazz one? It is on translucent blue vinyl. That's interesting. Peter's classic trio. 
I don't know what this is, but it looks cool. Campetra, Campetra's Problematic. Weird. 3,500 copies. Uh, really tend to be a debut album. Problematic was leaked and then shelved. 10 tracks of Euphoric es Escapist Pop Inspired. Okay, let's see. Apple Red Colored Vinyl. They should have went with a blue. They should have went with a blue, honestly. Interesting. I don't know if I'll pick it up, but it looks cool. Phoenix Winter Solstice, seven inch vinyl, thousand copies. There we go. This is how you do it. Picture disc, uh, Winter Solstice. Latest album, Alpha Zulu on the side A. And the other mix on side B. Okay. Piper, Summer Breeze, 1500 copies. Hard to find since its original pressing in Japan in 83. Ship to Shore Fonico is proud to present our release of Piper's much beloved LP Summer Breeze. La Black and allowed a smooth warming embrace. Since Pop Funk, I might pick this up. Exclusive color variant, hand stamped numbered. Eventually stamped numbered, nice. That might that might be a pickup. Polo G, Dial Legend, 2500 copies. First time Dial Legend is critically claimed two times platinum certified. Include the seven time platinum single. Black Ice Colored Vinyl, uh, Margaret Price, Strays Live at Grimey's, 2,000 copies. Let's see, it's going to be on Sangria Marble Vinyl. That looks beautiful. I like that cop. I like the colors. Prince Get Off, 7,000 copies. It's a 12-inch vinyl, so that means, what is it, a single? As we faithfully recreate the original one-sided promo, 12-inch for the single Get Off. And introduces Prince's new band. Oh, the new power generation stuff. At least it's gonna be damn near 10 minute mix of the song with a side with a blank flip side. Okay. Ripple, Ripple. 1400 copies. Uh, that looks cool. What is it? Semi seminal rare groove funk and deep soul album. Original release in 73. 50 years later, um, remastered. Had a print for nearly 30 years on vinyl, any sort of color variant, not that I know of. I'm gonna listen to it, maybe I'll pick it up. Leon Russell, Hank Wilson, Volume 2, 1700 copies, Dark Horse Records. I see color vinyl reissue, so that means we're getting a color, which, which is what color? Don't know. There's the track listing. This is weird. Sacrilege BC, Party with God, and 1985 demo. Uh, double LP, 1,000 copies. Thrash Band, it's, um, see, debut album and a demo vinyl together for the first time ever. Etching on side D, that means we're gonna get to see it, right? Nope. We're fans of Violence, Exodus, Metallica. Red vinyl, it looks like. Dan Sartain. The Lost Record, 1,000 copies. <laughs> Months before his original Swami Records debut, Dan made a record with his frequent collaborators, Plate 6. Unreleased till now, the record captures Dan in his hometown scene before the world had really met him. The record is being released by Seasick Records. No sort of color vinyl. Schooly D, Schooly D, 1,500 copies. Is this hip hop? 1985 debut on his own imprint. Five years later on Drive. Okay, heavy influence on Public Enemy, Ice-T, and Beastie Boys. I don't like rock and roll. Exclusive color, so I'm guessing it's going to be yellow. Screaming Trees, Live at Egg Studio, 2,500 copies. Early 1991. Um, let's see, just keep going. Fried Egg Colored Vinyl, that's going to be interesting. Shabazz 3, Light Night with Shabazz 3, 900 copies, double LP, Originally released in 2000s on CD and double vinyl with their own longevity records, minimal distribution, releases a limited run of 300, collector's item selling for 200 plus, uh, golden era of 19, 1990s West Coast Hip Hop, uh, no sort of colored vinyl but okay. 
Ravi uh, Shankar and Ali Akbar Khan and Concept 72, Double LP, Dark Horse Record 1280. The original Apple Records release. Uh, there we go, produced by George Harrison, Akira Hussein, and Phil McDonald. No sort of color and no track listing really. Pauly Shore and the Krusties, Crustopolis Volume 1, no idea what the hell this is. 1250 copies. Comedy Superstar Pauly Shore for the first time ever, Leech is extraordinary. Pauly. Is that the guy from Jersey Shore? Or no, it's Pauly D, whatever, I don't know. Remember from Encino Man, you remember from Biodome, now you're rejoicing hearing him. And the Krusties play an impeccable cover of the version of your favorite Rockets. One time vinyl press includes full color. Okay. Weird, but okay. See ya, every day is Christmas Snowman EP. I don't like these jackets. They're lazy. That's what I think of as lazy, because then that plastic is going to stick to it. 7,000 copies. Obviously, it's a red and white splatter. Alan Silvestri, Death Becomes Her, 1,500 copies, uh, Mail Street's first attempt at Lighter Fair, Grape Vinyl, let's see, are we gonna get to see it? Okay. Nice. Skid Row, B-Side Ourselves EP, 2,500 copies, 12 inch. Original release in 92, this EP features Skid Row's classic lineup, covering Psychotherapy. Come on and love me, delivering the good, then what are you doing? And Little Wayne. Yellow Black Marble. Okay. Slaughter to Prevail, live in Moscow, 2,500 copies, LP. Brand new live album for Slaughter to Prevail. Red, silver, black vinyl with heavy splatter. Uh, there's the whole. Ooh, that looks cool. Then we have Souls and Mystery of 93 till infinity. The remix is 1800. Timeless hip hop. Let's see. Bell for the vinyl for first time ever. A lot of hip hop and rap. Okay. Sparks live at the record plant 74. 2000 copies. Uh, Pop's most beloved influential cult bands. Clear vinyl. Okay. Come on. You almost had me. Spice One, 187, he wrote, 30th anniversary. I just saw this the other day, I swear to God. 1,500 copies. Proper vinyl issue and colored. Okay. Features Boss, Ant Banks, MCE, uh, Havoc, The Rhyme, Son, and Proje, and E40. Splinter, place that I love. Dark Horse Record, a thousand copies. Um, folk pop rock music. Let's see. Remastered, transparent, clear vinyl. Reproduced gatefold artwork with OB strip. Steeler, Steeler, 1500. Although many bands assume that Swedish guitarist Shredder Yinwei J. Malmsteen's first US based band was Alcatraz. Read member of another obscure Los Angeles based metal band. Okay. Clear red vinyl. Billy Strings, California Sober featuring Willie Nelson. 5,000 copy. That looks cool. I thought I was about to say 7 inch. Nope. They want to get you for more money. Limited edition green. Sweet. Level headed alternate mixes and demos. 2,000 copies of Records Today First. Let's see, clear blue. Okay, not bad. Tank and the Bangers floating on Verve, 2,000 copies. EP was exclusively pressed for Records Today Black Friday Magenta Vinyl. Okay. Tantric, self titled, 1,100 copies. Let's see. Never before released on vinyl, acoustic tingled grunge new metal classic. Orange vinyl. 
There you go. Taproot, Blue Sky Research, 1100 copies again. I need to take a drink quick, damn. Blue Sky Vinyl, uh, there we go. Ooh, 3-6 Mafia, um, what is it? The Unbreakables. So it looks like we have... We have Lord Infamous, we have DJ Paul. I think that's Crunchy Black, and I know that's probably Juicy J. Right? Hopefully. This one is a maybe. Print on vinyl, never to be repeated, color vinyl pressing. Go. Cool. Cal um, Jatter. Catch the Groove live at the penthouse 63 to 67. Triple LP, 2,000 copies. Uh, 3 LP, 180 gram vinyl. Rare photos, essays, interviews. Okay. Turnstile and bad, bad, not good. New Heart Designs. 4,000 copies. Remixes with bad, bad, not good of three songs from Glow On. Ultravox Quartet, Steve Wilson Remix. 1,500 copies, double LP. Let's see, anything interesting on here? No look at a colored vinyl yet. That's the CD at 700 copies. Asteroid City, Emotional Motion Picture Soundtrack, 8,000 copies. Limited Edition Orange Vinyl. Looks nice. Had a song from Les Paul, whoa. And Bing Crosby, Tennessee Ernie Ford, Tex Ritter, Springfield, Black Jazz Records, a complete single, 1,750 copies. Overwhelmingly successful reissue campaign. Collectible Black Jazz label, Real Gone Music, turns double LP. The best of, uh, Tawny Orange with Black Swirl. Nice. Various artists, the D-Spine Virtual Spiritual. The Divine Spiritual Story Volume 3. Whoa. Uh, 600 copies. Third installment. Let's see. Looks like this is going to be a gospel album. Various artists. Istanbul 70. Psych Disco Folk Edit by Varys K. Volume 1 through 6. 950 copies. A double LP. On purple. Whoa. That's a lot of different names I do not know how to pronounce at all. Cool. Jazz Dispensary at the Movie, 3,600 copies. Uh, let's see. Purple Marble. That looks beautiful. Booker T and EMGs. Isaac Hayes. Charles Ireland. Erland. Blackbirds. Uh, Isaac Hayes again. Okay. Judgment Night. 3150 LP. I anticipated press repress of the original soundtrack. Bring together a clicked lineup of hip hop artists. It's gonna be on red vinyl. Looks like we're gonna have. I need to get close to read it. Helmet, House of Pain, Teenage Fan Club, De La Soul, Living Color, Run DMC, Sonic Youth, Cypress Hill, Biohazard, Onyx, Face No More, Ouya Tribe, Slayer Ice T. Mud Honey and Sir Mix a lot, okay. Kev Kenny Tribute. Kevin Kenny Tribute. 750 copies. That looks weird. Uh, any sort of color. Not that I'm able to find out. Weird. Lightning Attic and Friends. Whoa, I might grab this. Decade in the making, Lightning Attic Friends featured an incredible cast of legendary artists covering songs 
The label Light in the Attic is re-released over the years. Including Charles Bradley and the Main and Street Band covering Sixto Rodriguez. Iggy Pop and Zigzags covering Funk Queen by Betty Davis. Ethan and Maya Hawk covering Willie Nelson. Okay. I'm looking, I'm like... Light in the Attic did a great repressing on Jim Sullivan's album UFO. An amazing artist who has just disappeared, really. Let's see it. Are we gonna see it? Wait. I'm doing like a quick scan. That's a bummer, but okay. Various Artists, Noise For Now, Volume 1, 3,100 copies. There's another compilation for abortion access throughout the U.S. 100% of the proceeds will go over to charities. Noise For Now, the, Bridge, the Bridget Alliance, and the Abortion Care Network. Clear All P in a Single Pocket Jacket, Insert, Liberate Abortion, okay. That is interesting. If it's a charity album, that might be interesting to pick up. I do like how it looks though. Punk Goes Christmas, whoa. That's, that's a name I haven't heard in a while. 2600 copies, double LP. Double LP, green vinyl, 45 RPM. New Found Glory, all time low, real friends. Real friends again? Man Overboard, The Somerset, Crown the Empire, Yellow Card, August Burns Red, I like them a, a little bit, Issues, Jason Lancaster of Go Radio, Being as an Ocean, The Ready Set, The Wildlife Set It Off, and William Beckett, that looks cool, Red Hot and Raw, Nuclear War, 1100 copies, uh, first in a series of albums, Tribute to Sun Ra, The American Artist, Interesting. Rostam Records 20, 2,500 copies. Double LP. Let's see. Don't see a colored vinyl, right? Nope. You have all them artists, though. Soul Jazz Records presents the Studio One Kings. 1,400 copies. Special colored vinyl pressing. You're not going to be able to see it. This is jazz, obviously. Let you scroll through that and read that yourself. Tough City Salutes, Hip Hop 50, the DJ Jams. 800 copies. Anthology of old school DJ Scratch Classics, including DM Davy DMX, One for the Trouble, and Marley Marl's The Man Marley Marl. There you all go right there with that. Tough City Salutes, Hip Hop 50, the Solo MC Jams. 800 copies. There we go. They are going out with this damn Hip Hop 50. Wow. That's probably why there's a lot of Hip Hop stuff on here, but like, whoa, that's a ton. Like, I was not expecting so many to be on there, really. Trying to find a little quick snack for afterwards. 800 for this one, that's what you get. Old school rap group classic including Grand Wizard of Theodore, can I get a soul clap? And Hip Hop Salute 50 to female MCs, okay. So are we gonna get Missy Elliott on here? Is that if anyone Missy Elliott deserved the spot on here. Let's see. Queen Latifah, Roxanne, Shantae, Sparky D. Sparky the Revenge, uh, Trey Donna, Davey DMX featuring Sweet Tea, Roxanne Shanti, Wanda D, Trey Donna 16, okay so none of that, oh it's old school DJ stuff, written in their soul, the hit stack songwriter demos, 2700 copies, 
orange vinyl. We have Eddie Floyd, Deanie Parker, Carlos Thomas, Homer Banks, Mac Rice, Shelbra Bennett. That is a beautiful looking vinyl. I like it. What the hell? Ver virulence. I'm hoping I'm saying that right. If this isn't a dream, a thousand copies. Hardcore band from California, 80s. Jake just named the Fu Manchu. The old vinyl for the first time since 89. Pressed on white vinyl. Let's not gonna see it. This might be one I have to pick up. I like weird stuff. War, the world is a ghetto, 50th anniversary collector's edition. 5 LP, records today exclusive. Okay, so it's gonna be a hundred bucks. Are they gonna, I believe this is the one where, um, let me see. Yep, Insane Clown Posse sampled Redneck Ho. It's a sample of War's City Country City. There we go. I'm like, that's a big one to put in there as someone who sampled it. I love Redneck Ho on that album. <laughs> oh, that is awesome looking. I like that. Waterboy, this is the C fast version, and it's final 1500 copies. Waterboy, the breakthrough album. Let's see. Thank you for the forthcoming 6 CD box set. Okay, so it's only two tracks. Lil Wayne, I Am Music, 5000 copies, double LP. First ever career spanning compilation album, I Am Music 18 track collection. Latest single, Can't Nobody. Produce this. Swiss Beats, the Carter Four standout, six foot seven foot. There we go. The other hits, uh, Lollipop, Mona Lisa, Drop the World, which I like. That is like a really good track for me, even though a lot of people probably don't like it. A Millie, Fireman, and Go DJ, Translucent, Ruby, Double Red Vinyl. Let's see what else is on here. I forget what the song is called. I think it's called My Homie Still or whatever. It was around that time. I remember. I was like, I love this song. Don't remember where the hell to find it though, for some reason. Okay, so you have a decent amount of stuff on here. And that looks cool. This might be one I actually pick up somehow. We'll see. Wendy O. Williams, Maggots the Record. Ooh, weird. 1500 copies. Fourth studio album by rock singer Wendy O. Williams. The band Plasmatics. Thrash Metal Opera, uh, colored vinyl, we're not gonna see what it is yet, but cool. X, Ain't Love Grand, 1800 copies, fifth studio album, my American Rock Band X, includes a 7 inch of the band single Wild Thing, last pressing, vinyl pressing of Ain't Love Grand was an 85, woo, and that looks awesome. X Cops, you have the right to remain silent, that guar? Original release in 90, that's 500 copies. 95 Metal Blade Records, you have the right to remain silent as Shock Rock from the members of the band Guar and other musicians connected to the band. Peter Lee started this band after being shot in a field carjacking. Idea for X-Cops sparked while filming a commercial segment for Guar's skull head face. And Lee and Dave Brocky were dressed as police officers and Lee pondered, what would be cooler than a bunch of cops playing kick-ass rock and roll? This led to Lee, Brocky, and Gore's drum technician starting X Cop as a three piece band. First time release on vinyl, Blood Red Splatter on Clear. Full 12 inch insert. I might pick it up. I don't know. So that's what, what it looks like Young Blood, 21st Century Liability, 5 year anniversary, 4,000. Why 5 year anniversary? It's like at least, wait. 10 years before you put out an anniversary edition. Like, that's just personally. Because I'm like, it don't make sense for me to do that. Uh, transparent Magenta? Okay. Uh, comes with a poster insert. Okay. Rob Zombie, Lunar Injection. 
Kool-Aid Eclipse Conspiracy. 2200 copies, a picture disc, unfortunately. Not picking it up. New artwork of the 2021 Rob Zombie record, Lunar Egyptian. Cool. Okay. And that's it. That is the whole Record Store Day 2023 collection. Whoa. That is interesting. Um, hold on one second. I'll be right back. Okay, so for, um, I don't know why it's red still, but for Record Store Day, Black Friday, I should be having, if everything goes well, a physical copy CD coming out of an exclusive album. And I'm going to play you the first track off of it now, and then the stream will end, so then... That way, hope you have a great day after that. Now, give me a second to kind of get everything together, and it'll be right back. 